Never Have I Ever. Written by the New York Brony. And as always, read for you by Astro Brony. It was once again time for one of Twilight's monthly visits. She entered through the portal at noon as school ended, surprising her friends as they walked out of the school and saw her leaning against the portal slash statue. Twilight! They all cried, and soon the seven girls were engulfed in an enormous group hug. It's me, Twilight said sheepishly as they pulled apart. She smiled. I actually have a lot more freedom to stay this time. Princess Luna and Princess Celestia are preparing for the royal, er, sleepover, and they said that all royal duties could be put on hold for the entire weekend. The girls around her cheered. Wait a minute, Fluttershy piped. Princesses have sleepovers? With each other? She pushed a pink strand of hair out of her face, her eyes big with curiosity. Of course, why wouldn't they? Just because we're all royalty doesn't mean we can't have fun. Did someone say fun? Pinkie Pie bubbled, popping out of Twilight's backpack. Gasping, she went back inside the bag and popped out again. I knew it! We're missing a certain purple and green doggy! <laughs> Spike couldn't make it this time. He said he was helping our rarity with something, but he does say hello. The others nodded, not quite sure how to respond to that. Speaking of sleepovers, Dash said, putting an arm around Twilight. How's about you come to the one we're having at Pinky's tonight? A mischievous grin formed on her face. I can show you one of my favorite games. Applejack raised an eyebrow. Oh yeah? And which one would that be? Dash turned to her with a shit-eating grin even bigger. Grabbing the farm girl's Stetson off her head and putting it on her own, she said, You'll just have to wait and see, Hayseed! Before she took off running down the block. Hey, give that back! Applejack called after her as the others began their walk towards Pinky's house as well. Never have I ever? Twilight asked confusedly, looking from Dash to the other girls. After three rounds of hot chocolate, four movies, and two giant bowls of popcorn, Twilight had remembered what Dash said, and was completely intrigued as to what this game was. The name was lost to her, and she figured it must be a game only played in this world, since she was sure the girls back home probably wouldn't know what it was. Though truthfully, she couldn't speak for them, since this was her third sleepover, and of the three, two of them had been in this world. It's a game we usually play when it's just us, Sunset explained. Basically, the whole point is to say never have I ever and insert a random experience. Each one of us will hold up ten fingers. If one of us has had that experience, then we put a finger down. Get it? Twilight nodded. Sort of. She tapped her chin. Does the person with the most fingers down win? She directed towards Sunset. Dash let out a loud snort. Let's just say that you don't want to be that person. Sunset advised her. Patting her on the back. Okay, who's gonna start? Oh, oh, me, me, me! Pinky chanted, waving her hand in the air like she does in class when she was itching to tell the teacher the answer. It's been a while since we played it, and I never get to start us off! Well, then do us the honors, Pinks! Dash roared with laughter, putting her hands up. Rarity rolled her eyes as she put up her hands. Something tells me we're only playing this because Twilight is here. Pinky waited until the rest of the girls were ready before starting. Okay, never have I ever walked in on my parents! Dash doubled over. What the fuck, Pinky? She asked, gasping for air. What a way to start a game! Nonetheless, though, she put one finger down. Rarity and Fluttershy did the same. Twilight's eyebrows furrowed. Walked in on them doing what? She cast a glance at Rarity, who was to her left. Oh, honey. Rarity cooed, tapping her thigh. Okay, who wants to go next? I'll go. Sunset volunteered. Never have I ever been stuffed in a locker. Fluttershy put a finger down, and Sunset's eyes downcasted. Sorry about that, Flutters. The animal caretaker shrugged. Don't worry about it. That was the old you. And I know the new you would never do something like that. She assured the older girl, rubbing her hand affectionately. Me next! 
Never have I ever humped my pillow. The other girls, except for Twilight, blushed profusely. Most of them had forgotten they had to be completely honest for a game like this. They exchanged embarrassed looks before putting a finger down. Twilight gave them all precarious looks, begging for an explanation. Sunset, who was to her right, whispered something into her ear. A slight blush crept onto her own lavender cheeks, and she too put a finger down. Dash's eyebrows shut up. Whoa, 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 Twilight? Seriously? I never pegged you to be a girl who pleasure herself. Don't you have, like, guards who would jump at a chance to do that for you? Twilight blushed even more at the implications of what her rainbow-haired human friend had said. Not exactly. No. She answered, burying her face in her hands, a behavior more akin to Fluttershy than her. T to be honest, those types of guards are reserved for Celestia and Luna. My sister-in-law Cadence even has a few for when my brother goes away to war or something. Plus, I grew up around most of those guards, so having them touch me in any sexual way would be weird. What about you, Sunset? You stayed with the princess before you came here. Any good stories? Dash turned to her, wiggling her eyebrows. Uh, no. I was about Twilight's age when I left, so ditto on the awkwardness. Sunset responded, trying to hide her blush. It's expected for you guys and Pinky to be into that kind of stuff. Dash continued, twirling her finger. But Fluttershy? She swiveled around to point to the meek girl in disbelief. I guess it always is the quiet ones. Rarity rolled her eyes. Um, whose turn is it? She demanded, itching to change the subject. Though she knew with Dash playing, they were going to revisit it at least three more times. I guess I will. <clears throat> Never have I ever... She glanced at Rainbow with a triumphant look. Kissed a girl. Rainbow Dash glared at the farm girl, but vehemently put a finger down. <laughs> I think somehow we all knew that was to be expect. Fluttershy? Fluttershy stopped putting her finger down midway as everyone stared at her in surprise. Well, who do you think kissed her? She asked expectantly, raising an eyebrow. It was sixth grade. Twilight also put a finger down. The female to male ratio in Equestria is uneven, so you can't blame a pony girl for getting curious. She hastily spelled out. Okay, well then, guess I'll be taking over. <sighs> Never have I ever touched a boner. That sounds like it hurts. Twilight commented, <laughs> causing the other girls to giggle. Yeah, it does! Depending on where you put it! <laughs> Dash joked, causing the other girls to howl in even more laughter. Guess no one lost for that one. Twilight puffed out her cheeks after Sunset had explained the joke to her. You guys can't just use human slang around me like that. I've only had a month's equivalent of days in this world, and I still don't know about most of the things you guys talk about. There's no fun in this game if we have to explain everything to you, Twilight. Pinky told her. Just ask Sunny if you're feeling a little lost in the sauce. Twilight had no idea what lost in the sauce meant, but got the gist of what she was trying to say. She looked over at poor Fluttershy, who was in the lead with four fingers. Fluttershy, if you lose, is there anything you have to do as the loser? Besides endure the fact that your friends now know that you're a perverted sexual freak? <sighs> no... Something told Twilight that this isn't the first time Fluttershy came close to losing. Who's going? Me. Never have I ever masturbated to the thought of someone in this room. Sunset slightly scooted away from Twilight and put a finger down. Her action wasn't missed by the princess or the others <laughs> as Twilight blushed and they giggled. Dash grumbled something that sounded like, God damn it, Flutters! and put a finger down. My turn, er, I guess. Twilight said. Never have I ever turned into a black-eyed she-demon and tried to take over a high school? Sunset rolled her eyes. Okay, that's just mean. <laughs> she said, putting a finger down as the others patted her on the back with a good-natured laugh. Back to me! Pinky declared. Never have I ever peed out in public. 
And I don't mean in public bathrooms, I mean actually peed on the side of the road or something. Dash put a finger down. The girls stared at her. Hey, we were on our way to a soccer game and there was no rest stops in sight. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do! That's actually something I thought I would hear from Pinkie Pie. The athlete shrugged. It's a first time for everything. Yeah, and considering you've got five fingers down, this'll probably be the first time you'll lose. Applejack teased with a condescending smirk. Well then, let's raise the stakes, shall we? Dash said to her before turning to everyone else. Loser has to flash the winners. Whoa, hold on now. Don't you think that's a little much? Especially with Twilight playing for the first time? Applejack interjected, holding her hand out. Dash crossed her arms and gave her a smug look. All in favor of the rule change, say aye! 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 Applejack identified the voices as everyone except Fluttershy and a confused Twilight. It was three against four, so they were completely outvoted. Sighing in defeat, Applejack settled back down. Fine, let's just get this over with. She grumbled, ignoring Dash's hum of triumph. Never have I ever sucked a dick. Pinky put a finger down. Well, that was to be expected. Rainbow jabbed, cackling as the pink-haired girl nudged her in the side. A uh, dick? A dick, you know. A penis? Sunset simplified for her. And here in this world, you guys put your mouths on it? Twilight was even more confused than before. Isn't that a little unhygienic? <laughs> Twilight, uh, darling, have you ever gotten to talk about the birds and the bees? Rarity asked, flipping her hair back off her face. The what? She's talking about the sex talk. You know, the when two people love each other very much spiel? Twilight stared blankly at her. I never got it. You, you never, never what? what? Now it was their turn to be confused. I learned everything I know from books. Twilight clarified. I didn't really need the talk because I already knew most of what was contained in this so-called talk. Plus, being the social shut-in I was four years ago, just reading books on science got boring. She waved her hand in dismissive disgust. The girls blinked at her. Whose turn is it? Rarity asked after a beat of silence. Mine! I got a really good one! She rubbed her hands together evilly. Never have I ever copped a feel on another girl! She frowned when Applejack snorted. What, Hayseed? What's so funny? Now I found that hard to believe. You're gonna tell me that you've never touched another girl's boob? Not even once? Even with your track record? What's that supposed to mean? AJ put her hands up defensively. Nothing, nothing. Though with a guy like this, you might want to be completely honest. She ducked a pillow Dash threw in her direction with a laugh. Pinky put a finger down, and so did Sunset. AJ rolled her shoulders. Okay. Never have I ever had a sexual thought about one of my siblings. Yeah, okay. She said skeptically. Ow! She groaned, rubbing the side of her head after Applejack gave her a good smack upside it. Watch the ham hands! It was just a joke! Twilight put a finger down. The others looked at her for an explanation. The princess blushed sheepishly. I used to have a teeny weeny schoolgirl crush on my brother. More like an infatuation, but she wasn't gonna tell them that. Shining armor, right? He was just starting out on the royal guard when I left. He is kinda cute, she said with a wink. Just how old are you? Old enough to know that you're not of drinking age. Touché, bacon hair, touché. Come on, y'all, let's get back to the game. Applejack called, bringing their attentions back to the circle they were all in. Rarity, it's your turn, Shug. Hmm. Never have I ever... lick someone's balls. Ugh! I love having fun just as much as the next lady, but some things are just too... too... Sunset and Rainbow each put a finger <laughs> down as the other girls guffawed. Oh, revolting! Absolutely revolting! You two should be ashamed of it yourselves! Ugh. Oh my... I actually expected that from Pinky, since she's the one who was sucked to pick her. 
No, lag the Let's see it earlier. There's a first time for everything. <laughs> she could barely get the sentence out before bursting into a fit of laughter. <laughs> what can I say? Artie said, puffing out her chest. I like trying new things. It feels really nice, I hear. I can't be selfish. <laughs> Twilight tilted her head. I'm starting to question your world's methods of sexual pleasure, especially since the general reaction of some of them is to be grossed out. She scratched her neck. Though, back in Equestria, most of my friends are sexually active anyway, so I have no room to talk. Who's been keeping score? It was clear who was losing just by looking at who had the most fingers down, but it got confusing with all the odd side conversations. Pinky pulled a clipboard and a piece of paper out of her hair. Well, I have three fingers, Sunny has five, Dashi has six, Jackie has one, Rare Bear has two, you have four, and Twato has three! She stumped the clipboard back into her hair. Oh, and it's your turn! Fluttershy rolled her eyes. I figured that. <sighs> Never have I ever had phone sex with someone. Sunset put a finger down with a shrug. I had to do some questionable things when I first got to this world to earn some money. Sue me. She smiled when Twilight gave her a sympathetic pat on the back. What was your phone sex name? Did you have any regular customers? Did any of them go to our school? Have you had any of them recognize you? Sunset blinked at the sudden barrage of questions. Uh, Sunshine, yes, yes, and yes. Who? Flash Sentry, and Snips, and Snails. <gasps> That's how I got Flash to go out with me, and Snips and Snails to be my dim-witted lackeys. Sunset hugged herself as she shuddered. The old me was just awful. Applejack put a hand on her shoulder. Old Sunset is gone, Sugarcube. What matters now is you're the new Sunset, sitting here playing a raunchy game with her friends. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Applejack. Sunset said, smiling at the farm girl feeling better than she did before. This is depressing! We need to break things up! Pinky declared, getting up to go over to her closet. She rummaged through it, creating sounds that should not be coming from a normal teenage girl's closet. But this was Pinkie Pie, and she was far from a normal teenage girl. She emerged minutes later with something akin to Pony Pinkie's party cannon, only this was much, much bigger. It was a short chorus of what? what? Before confetti was flying everywhere. The room temporarily became blindingly speckled with bright pieces of yellow, blue, and green confetti. The girls coughed up a few pieces as the dust settled before glaring at Pinky and putting a finger down. The party animal bounced back over to her place in the circle and sat back down. You skipped me, Pinky! Oops! <laughs> Sorry! I just wanted to make everyone smile! Dash threw a pillow at her, and she fell backwards onto the floor. Hey! Okay, never have I ever eaten meat. Twilight looked around at her friends, as each of them put a finger down. She knew the others must have, since it was a normal thing for them to eat in this world. But there was no way that Sunset... She watched in horror as Sunset put a finger down. When you live in this world for as long as I have, you start to pick up their eating habits. She really didn't feel bad for eating meat. It wasn't like she was eating animals from Equestria, not to mention that because she'd been gone for so long, she just didn't see the reason why she would refuse to eat meat when she was never going back. She pulled the clipboard from Pinky's hair. Looks like this is the last round, girls, she said, looking at the scores. Thank goodness, I don't know how much more I could take this. Absolutely. I don't think I can ever agree to play this game with you all again. <gasps> Don't be such a wuss! Never have I ever eaten ass. <sighs> There's only so much I'll do for someone, and that isn't one of those things. You mean ass as in donkey? No, she means ass as in... Dash got up and shook her butt in Twilight's face. Ass! <laughs> the others giggled as she shook her butt in the air before sitting back down. I've never done that either, for the record. Sunset looked around, relieved to see that all of them still have the same amount of fingers up. It doesn't look like any of us have. 
You guys really have to educate me more on the sexual recreations of this world because these are really disturbing things for me to be learning at the moment. Twilight Min, ugh, sound, and shook her head. I have class because I don't eat ass! Pinky <laughs> sang at the top of her lungs, causing the other girls to cackle with breathless laughter. <laughs> okay, okay. Seriously, we need to finish this. Applejack said, as the others struggled to catch their breath. Harding, you're up. Never have I ever kissed a boy. Boring! Pinky said, putting a finger down. Yeah, we know you haven't. Sunset quipped, putting a finger of her own down. Rarity also put a finger down. I am a very popular young lady after all. <laughs> Never have I ever slept in the nude. Pinky put a finger down. Guilty! <coughs> Never have I ever cheated on a game. Fuck me in the ass! Rainbow yelled, <laughs> putting a finger down. I knew that one was directed at me. Indeed. She only had one finger left, and so did Sunset. The others had no chance of catching up to her or Sunset, so she knew exactly who would be flashing their boobs tonight. Fluttershy was glad that this game was almost over. All someone had to do was say something that Rainbow and Sunset had both done, and it would end. She thought for a minute, before saying... Never have I ever made someone feel bad about themselves. Sunset put down her final finger. Well, I'm out. Twilight gave her a curious look. Does that mean you win? Sunset gave her a wry smile. Hardly. Twilight smiled. I guess I'm the last one, huh? Okay, never have I ever stole something. Rainbow sighed and put her pinky finger down. I'm out! They could have worked for Sunset too, if Fluttershy not gotten to her before you did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright ladies, you know the deal. Losers has to flash the winners. You seem to be enjoying this a little too much, dearie. Rarity remarked, flexing her cramped fingers. Holding them in the same position for as long as she had really put strain on them. Pinky cracked hers. Oh come on! Who doesn't want to see a little boob action? We're all girls, or mares I think. She rubbed her chin in thought as Fluttershy let out a yawn. That was fun. We should play that again. No! The princess was taken aback by the sudden response from her friends. Oh, okay. Guess we shouldn't play this again. Sunset and Rainbow both shared a glance at each other before putting their fingers on the hems of their nightshirts. The other girls watched intently as the shirts slowly rose up revealing more and more skin of their stomachs. On the count of three, they yanked their shirts above their navels, revealing their bare chests. Just as the power went out. Yes! Rainbow cheered. No fair! I want to see some boobs! Pinky <laughs> whined, crossing her arms as the others burst into laughter. <laughs> The end. That was Never Have I Ever. It was written by the New York Brony and read for you by Astro Brony, with special guest voice actors, in no particular order, Obob Scribbler as Applejack, Emogak as Rainbow Dash and Twilight, Katebug as Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, Keyframe as Rarity, and I Am Shadow 007 as Sunset Shimmer. I really hope you all enjoyed this one. This has been my first big collaboration video where I have voice actors actually playing all the character roles rather than me trying to play Twilight Sparkle and Sunset Shimmer, which obviously does not sound nearly as good as this did. Other than that, I really don't have any other news. I'm going to try and get back to getting stories and comics out, um, hopefully on a weekly basis. I don't know about next week because obviously this coming weekend is BronyCon. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. No, seriously, I'm super, super, super excited for anyone who has seen my update video on that. I'll be there. I'm excited. 
I have no other news other than I'm really happy this story is done. So until next time, this is Astro Brony signing off.